Food games. Food games. Why are we doing food games? Well, because last month, <laughs> hey, why the hell not? Because last month we were we were being some workout boys. That's true. Now we're gonna take a few Sundays and enjoy some food. Yum. Or food for thought. Oh. T h o u g h c, not t h o t. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> that hoe over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wrong button? Yes. <laughs> Cheetos and the raisins? Chester Cheetah, Ronnie uh, McDonnie, uh, and one of the California, California raisins. raisins yeah. Hi, uh, I'm calling about the Thanksgiving turkey I went to see. Well, the person making problems is he doesn't appear to be a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> he just stole alive and kicking. All right, he's walking around. He's kicking me twice. He's got to report the file on Monday. <laughs> Oh, you'll be careful with that. Macaulay. It's my priceless bakery adult with Coke and Ed Bus. Oh, that's just wonderful. <laughs> what exactly am I supposed to worship now? I don't know what you expect me to do. Build this myself? I can't do it myself. Come on, this is America. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm not great. What are you talking about? Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was me. Crunchling athlete ever! 
Crunchlings need lots of praise, as well as plenty of Cap'n Crunch cereal. <laughs> yeah, lots of Cap'n Crunch to keep their bones from developing. We want to be, you know, quick, too quick and nimble so they can escape this little dungeon you keep them in. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. What do I pull on this? That's all you do? You just feed a Cap'n Crunch that falls from the ceiling when you pull a lever? What is this, a Quaker Oats wet dream? <laughs> <laughs> this game is really weird. You're just the caretaker of this crunchling monster. It's got food and happiness, in it, which you can raise by feeding it one of three types of Captain Crunch cereal and tickling it. I'm not sure what the end goal is. I assume to train it for a gladiatorial crunchling event where it will attempt to invade with one of its rivals, uh, as seen here by the three training stats of speed, jumping, and strength. In the first mini game, you throw rocks at other rocks while the dinosaur in the background essentially forgets why it's standing there. Wow, that's, that's a lot of hard work. work. I wonder how much training we got out of that. Let <laughs> me just see here. Let's just get a little closer. A progress I made! That tiny tail of a goddamn tick walking around on crutches and shit about to expire in early death from polio? Yep. How many times am I expected to play that mini game to level the stat up? You'd better win a lifetime supply of cap crunch for beating this. There it is. <laughs> That turtle is a humping. <laughs> You're going to race against this turtle on your skateboard. Talk of madness is this? <laughs> wow, truly crazy place. It's so crazy it even has a roller coaster in the background. This game is complete bullshit. The turtle's running backwards. The turtle, but he's just like the most immaculate racer of all time. If you hit anything, even one thing, you can't recover. So what? I mess up once, the turtle's fucking gone? So you're yep. just out of there. Yep. What can I say? Captain, he expects perfection. Yeah, he does. Nice, Captain. Oh, that time you fucked up and your cereal just all berries? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't criticize him before. He even gave a sarcastic name. <laughs> I soon <assume we> forget. <laughs> also, for some reason, there's a Gatorade ad inside this ad. Very effective. Right. Not all companies were so sneaky about this. Some tried to sell you their own advertising outright. Take, for example, Yoshinoya for PS2. Yeah. Is this a video game or the restaurant's smallest branch? Yes, I'd like one beef bowl and a small coke, please. I would have ordered large, but I am to believe you do not carry that size here. It's a Japan-only game, <laughs> and the goal is to play as a minimum wage worker in a Yoshinoya beef bowl branch. Really? Couldn't I have at least been the boss? Sure. How is this even supposed to make me want to buy more Yoshinoya? The game is not even free. You have to buy it. Mass square. Ain't that Yoshinoya? <laughs> now those are all great, but I'm sure what all you want to see is how it's true. Titan of a company to market their game. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. Oh yeah, I'm talking clowns. Okay, clowns everywhere. I've got to say, I don't know how they've gotten away with using a clown as their mascot for so long. Because Ronald McDonald does not make me want to eat a hamburger. He makes me want to call the police. <laughs> Come on. Ain't you hungry? Ain't you hungry yet? First, some fava beans. Yes. Huh. Is it big kids or MC kids? So the 80s are even possible. The game starts off with two kids reading a story in text. Ronald. What's going on with you, dude? You need an haircut or something? A facelift? That's something's up with you. Go get fixed, please. He's showing off his magic bag. And a big thing in his mental. When all of a sudden, I don't think you have to finish this. Nope. Story. <laughs> Would you look at yourself? You're a hunched over grown man clown asking a child to help you get your bag back. Baby! Up. Search the levels of my clubhouse and retrieve at least four of my puzzle cards. Ronald, what are you, 46? You can't go around telling kids to scavenge through your clubhouse. This game is now promoting children helping strangers and then going into said strangers' private abode with a promise of a trade of a tasty hamburger. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with that, do you know? <laughs> I'm good. Come back to my house with four cards. I will show you how to get to Bernie's house. Bernie, one of your backroom girls, Ronald? When's the last time she's seen her parents, huh? <laughs> You're a stiff, twisted clown. It's so bizarre, isn't it? The games used to be used for marketing purposes like this. It fell out of style because it clearly doesn't work. It's too, I don't know, heavy-handed. I mean, get real already. We're not cheap. I mean, it's not as if this game would make me want to order a delicious McDonald's hamburger which has the perfect blend of crispy <laughs> lettuce, speedy tomatoes, and patty sizzle perfection, and all popped out to one perfectly crunchy pickle. 
Not redundant. The rent rip off of Mario World in terms of its assets and structure, but not so much the gameplay itself. It's like the Rescue game Rangers game level. The high yeah. profile commercial production. Okay, beat that level. Got that one. Got that one. And we're good. Moving on. Huh. What's going on? I can't seem to move on to the next world. Is this all there is? Oh, Z? That's right. I gotta get Ronald's dirty cards to advance. But I can't find them. Shouldn't they be easier to find given that this is the first level? What about this one up here? I don't know how I'm supposed to get it. Am I supposed to throw a block at it? Nope. No, that didn't do it. Huh, maybe if I stack this block here and... Yeah, okay, stack the blocks. Back. Oh, okay. The other one's gone. Whatever, this game sucks. Whoa! What is that about? I touch one benign thing in the level and sends me all the way no, back. No, that's... I could have caught out one the time it took that to transpire. That's a hard pass. <laughs> Genesis. Other than the random golden arches pasted everywhere, I'm not really sure about the relation of McDonald's on this one. Are, are, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> and the wombat, 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 wombat. <laughs> so, as always, the scene is set at the local McDonald's branch. Two kids, who I'm assuming are Mick and Mac, respectively, are seated at the table reading about what they call global gladiators, who apparently they want to become. Yeah, being a gladiator would be a blast. Are you ready? I'm not nope. sure, actually. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Words in my mouth. Yeah. Oh, you admit it. Hey guys, if you're looking for a glass, Whoa. About this. <laughs> Not your magic. What have you done? <coughs> Children, you're gonna throw these kids into a gladiator world because what they skip out? No. Every kid says to be an astronaut. What are you gonna do? Throw them into space? Yeah. Now, I could have bought ten of these bottles, but I only went with four because I'm not supporting your reckless habits. Oh yeah. But my point is, if you're a real monster, I don't agree with your ethics. <laughs> well, whoa, okay, it's a little squirt gun. <laughs> exactly, what are you looking at here? Very enthused to be What a sound effect. The gameplay on this is actually way cooler than you'd expect. If you took the McDonald's branding off it, you'd have a legitimate game here. Okay, another one. Like Jungle Book? What am I even doing? You can't beat him. But dun 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 dun. Whoa, Sonic! That's a magic. Get over here! <laughs> I wasn't even aware Rob McDonald had magic. This is official. You know, it's like right. a Rob hack. Ugh, oh, so wrong. Hey, maybe you could have saved up some of that berry dust to help cure all the early onset type two diabetes. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, Keith McDonald, Amriel Cuban, and that faceless robot corporation, <laughs> and have real feelings too. <laughs> And one uh, last McDonald's game to show. Donald, no magical. Ah, the game here. Ronald is always cheerful and happy. Oh, is that what that emotion is? <laughs> but a strange incident happened one day. It all started when Grimace found a strange looking box. I'm surprised Grimace got out of bed. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? He's piercing Grimace's heart. It's going to explode, isn't it? First off, Grimace has been late there. Get out of my face! You're inviting me to enjoy the magical world. What if I don't Ooh. want to? Find the exit. Have a nice trip. What are you doing? <laughs> Can you find the exit? Good luck finding your way out. Hope there's Excuse not too much broken glass in there. What's with this trend of McDonald's games and people being thrown? You ever play the Power Ranger games on the Game Gear? No. Oh, they're so good. Fish. Our uh. biological drive to endlessly die. Sultry and salty goodness of a perfectly cooked bird. Well, I think we're more than that person. I mean, we have more than just a base drive as a species. I mean, I'd like to think of us as a, a dignified food. Eat more food. Grimbo, bring me more food. Johnny is hungry. Johnny is hungry. <laughs> Grimble 
<laughs> yeah, we know what Crunchyroll is. So that's Food Games Part 1. Uh, we're not going to jump directly into Food Games Part 2. We will save that for the next next time. Um, I wanted to jump into a different type of food video. Food Fight. I am on a drug, it's called Charlie Sheen.